Hi everybody, Game Pack right here with a look at another year's worth of Super Power Supply catalogs from Nintendo Power. This time we are looking at the year 2000, the first year of the new millennium. First off, uh, before we get started, if you're new to the channel and you want to check out some other Super Power Supply catalogs, check the description below. I've done videos on every previous year. And also, be sure to click the subscribe button, because I'm going to have a lot more new videos on the way. All right, let's dive in here. We have three, actually, let's say two and a half catalogs, because this first one is all repeats, but super deals. I'll show you in a moment. Um, but we do have a summer 2000 and a winter 2000 catalog full of new merchandise. But first, let's check out this super deal catalog. Uh, so we see it's listed as the Spring and Summer 2000 Super Power Supply Super Deals. Red Hot Limited Time Only Offers Inside. Uh, it mentions here all of the items in this catalog have appeared in previous catalogs, but the prices are all new. We need to move everything out to make room for more great new products, and we figured this would be a good way to do it. Good for you, that is. Check everything out. We think you'll understand why we are acting you to, asking you to act fast. So, here we go. All right. Again, it is all previously released merchandise, but some of these prices are absolutely insane, and I am so angry that I didn't buy everything. Um, here, let's take a quick look. So, all of these different hats, down to either $10 or just $5 for the N64 hat. T-shirts were as low as $8, or the youth size was at $6.50. Wow. Um, a few others, $8. This Donkey Kong 64 tie-dye t-shirt that was in just last winter's catalog, $12. A lot of these t-shirts, $5. Sweatshirts, $10. Denim jacket was 45 now 15 More t-shirts, $8. And then here, the pocket watch, or wallet, excuse me, $8 down from 22 Bracelet up there, the Triforce one, 5 bucks. Wrist watches and pocket watches, 12 10 7 for this N64 wall clock. Where'd it go? Oh, all the way down here. Absolutely crazy. And here we go with a plush that we've seen in almost every catalog. The little keychain plush. The set of eight was thirty. Now ten dollars. The individual ones a dollar fifty. This is insane. Foot tall talking plush. Originally ninety six dollars. Thirty six bucks for the set, or nine fifty each. Crazy. All the little beanbag plush. $11 for the set. $3 each. $7 for this set. $2 each. Oh, here's the large talking plush. Mario Party playing cards. $2. Zelda Cell Art, which was a limited edition release, I believe. $3. The Nintendo Word Magnets. $3. The Zelda figures, $5 for the set of three or $2 each. Oh man, this one hurts. Look at these soundtracks. A set of six Nintendo soundtracks for $14 or $2.50 each. A lot of these soundtracks are worth a fortune now. Insanity. And this little N64. CD holder, four bucks. Plus, look at this. Free with any purchase over $50, the Zelda Ocarina of Time soundtrack. And finally, a 1080 snowboard, snowboarding real snowboard that was $249 down to $99. 
the Donkey Kong 64 controller glove, $3. Rumble Pack, $12. N64 Backpack, $9. N64 Controller Case, 5 bucks. And this one, I, I am so angry I didn't buy this. The Zelda Gold Game Boy Camera for $24. That is worth so much freaking money now. Ah, kill me. But there we go. In the year 2000, had a chance to get a lot of amazing stuff for not a lot of money, but sadly did not. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> Here we go. Power Supplies Catalog. Summer 2000, and of course, Pokemon. The biggest, I'd say one of the biggest games in history, if not the biggest. And here we go. Uh, we have some dog tags. We saw these in last year's catalog. Um, and there's two series. The uh, first set is across the top. The bottom is set two. And looks like they were selling both sets together for $27. There were some Pokemon candy catchers. Uh, these were definitely sold in stores, because I, I recall buying one of these back then. Um, but it's basically like um, like a Pez dispenser, but clearly different design. So it looks like those were $8 each, or you can get a set of candy refills for $5. Um, some Pokemon collectible pins. Um, these were in last year's catalog, listed as hat pins, a set of four for $10. A Pokemon wristwatch that, again, was in last year's catalog. That was $25. And a couple of the Pokemon videos, the uh, anime on VHS. Uh, $12 each, or the set of three for $30. Next, we have the Pokemon sweatshirt and t-shirt and hats, all of which were in last year's catalog. Uh, this is new, a Pokemon lunch bag. Um, featuring Pikachu, oops, Pikachu and the Pokemon logo for $12. And a Pokemon Zip Binder. Um, looks like that was $8. Here we go. Some um, pretty, I guess, understated would be the right term. Nintendo 64 apparel. Um, so there's a charcoal gray, red, or looks like... Maybe like a light blue um, sweatshirt. Those were $25 each. There's a charcoal hat for $16. Um, oh, okay. Sorry, I made a mistake here. So the, just the sweatshirt is in gray. And then these are Fantastic Tees. Um, it says in watermelon or grape. Just like the Fantastic Consoles. Uh, so those were $12 each, and the N64 Clear Watch, um, pretty kind of generic looking watch, just with a little N64 logo on the face there, for 5 bucks. The usual selection of players, guys. Uh, here we have a few new ones, though. Uh, Perfect Dark, Jet Force Gemini was in last year's catalog, but Pokemon Stadium and the Pokemon Trading Card Game for Game Boy are new. And a selection of soundtracks, um, all of which look like repeats. Here um, we have the Donkey Kong characters. So these had uh, plastic heads but plush bodies. Those were $6 each or $22 for the set. Um, the Donkey Kong action figures that were in last year's catalog, uh, $8 each or $40 for the set. And across the two pages here are the Series 3 collectibles. So these are the 6-inch versions of Bowser, Mario, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong. $5 each, or the set of 4 for 19 And a set of 5 Yoshis in various colors for 24 Here are some storage options that we see in every other catalog. Looks like everything is a repeat. This time around, so I won't spend too much time here. And here's some more storage options. Um, here, though, we have a new Nintendo 64 t-shirt for $14. 
a Nintendo 64 hat for $12, and a Nintendo 64 lanyard, uh, looks like that was $5. Um, here we have the Donkey Kong 64 wallet, that was in last year's catalog, the Nintendo Power Binder for the magazines, some order info, unused order form, and finally, some additional Pokemon stuff. Um, the cases are repeats, as are these three, but they did offer three new colors for the trading card holders. Uh, so we have Ash with Pikachu sitting on his hat, Squirtle and Growlithe, and it looks like um, they were $5 each, or you can get a set of one of each color, so all six for $28, or a set of two of each color, so 12 total for $55. Okay, that is it for summer. One more to go. This is the Winter 2000 Power Supplies Catalog. And, oh, I already see something on the cover. I definitely regret not getting a Merrill hat. Ah! If you are new to the channel, Meryl is my all-time favorite Pokemon, and I buy anything and everything I could find with him on it, so I really wish I had that hat. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have a Perfect Dark soundtrack, the Donkey Kong collectibles, the plush dolls, uh, looks like a Pokemon watch, a some type of folding scooter, it's a Scooda, not Razor brand. And then a better look at the Pokemon candy dispensers. Let's dive in. Alright, here we go. The Pokemon wristwatch we've seen before. A Pokemon ball marker hat. So it looks like the hat itself just has the Pokemon Gotta Catch Em All logo. But it came with a set of pins. Ah, again, there's Meryl. Ha! <laughs> Oh, and Lugia, that's another of my favorites. Um, so this whole set was just $19, and I'm trying to give you a better look at the pins here. So we had Lugia, Meryl, Hoot Hoot, Ladyba, and Pikachu. And here's the Pokemon Zip Binder we saw in the previous catalog. Ah, uh, there's the Meryl hat. That is amazing. $18. Ah, oh, I hope I can find one of these someday. Over here, a Pokemon UV sensitive t-shirt. Um, so it says this little like starburst pattern here um, would magically appear when exposed to a UV light source. So like the sun. Um, this was a youth size t-shirt for $14. Again, I see a little Meryl. <laughs> um, here is a see-through Nintendo Power backpack. It's kind of fun. Just got the Nintendo Power logo there. That's 16. And here, okay, we see the uh, Pokemon watch that was on the cover. It says it's a Pokemon Flash watch. Uh, push one of the buttons on the side of this royal blue and black wristwatch and check out the fireworks. Waves of energy pulsate from Pikachu toward the outer edge of the watch face. And there's like a little image that would have been really cool that was just twenty dollars too hmm. um here are the trading card holders we saw in the previous catalog over here is a game boy binder um looks like a, that's kind of interesting so it holds for a game boy and it has a built-in trading card holder um doesn't show a picture of the cover but it says it has pikachu screened on the front that was eighteen dollars there are the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon videos once again. And here are some Game Boy carrying cases. A few new ones for uh, gold and silver with Lugia and Ho-Oh. $9 each. I definitely would have bought that one. And the Pokemon lunch bag once again. Moving on. There is a <laughs> Nintendo 64 carabiner for $6. That's uh, kind of lazy branding in my opinion but still kind of cool uh, an n64 wallet uh just a kind of generic black wallet with an n64 logo for five bucks an n64 messenger bag for 12. the uh game boy color headphones we saw in the previous catalog and a nintendo power sweatshirt that's kind of cool 34 dollars 
over here a Nintendo 64 light pen. So it looked like it had a little flashlight built in near the tip. That's kind of cool. Four box. A Nintendo Power CD carrier. Um, that was $10. Oh, here we go. A power scooter. So apparently this was a... I, re I remember Razor scooters were kind of a big thing back then, but this is a, looks like another brand called Skuda, S-K-U-D-A. And the only Nintendo branding is this little itty-bitty Nintendo Sports logo. So $79 for that. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Over here, some soundtracks. It looks like the Banjo-Tooie one was a new release this time. And a little Nintendo Power stopwatch for $9. Next up, um, some Game Boy Game Pack cases. Now, uh, early Game Boy games would come with these little clear plastic hard cases, um, but I believe they discontinued that after a couple years, and definitely not into the Game Boy Color era. So this is kind of nice. Uh, it gives you a few different color options, too. It says two purple, two clear, one teal, and one kiwi um, for just $5. Not, not too bad. So six cases for five bucks. Over here, some N64 game protectors. Backpack Traveler, Game Carrier, N64 System House. A few different Game Boy Color carrying cases. Here are the Pokemon Candy Catchers, as I call them. Um, here's a better look at all the different options. So it looks like we had Mew, Pikachu, Blastoise, Charmander, Psyduck, and Squirtle. And those, oh, they actually got discounted. So just $4 each, or a set of six for $23. Um, there's a Pokemon sweatshirt in both adult and youth sizes. The dog tags we've seen before. Um, the collectible pins we've seen before and t-shirts but it looks like there was a new one for gold and silver again with two of my favorite pokemon why did i not buy this <laughs> 15 dollars. very very cool moving on um some of the nintendo 64 hats the lanyard backpack clear watch um a few different t-shirts the Donkey Kong character collectible plush. Oh, they were actually discounted, just $3 each, or the set of four for $11. And some more discounts. Um, the six inch Mario series plush, well, and Donkey Kong, down to $4 each, or the set of four for $15. And the Donkey Kong action figures were down to just $4 each, or the full set for $22. Um, plus, you got a bag of Pokemon candy with every order. Very exciting. Uh, there's the order info. Unused order form. And finally, um, a few storage things. So, a player's guide holder, power rack, finder and some new Majora's Mask items. So we had a pretty cool t-shirt featuring the game's logo and a hat. Uh, looks like the t-shirt was 18 and the hat was also 18. And here's a few player's guides. Again, a couple new ones. The Majora's Mask guide was new and the Pokemon Gold and Silver one was new as well. So there we have it, the year 2000. So this was the second to last set of Super Power Supply catalogs. Um, some very cool stuff. A few things I definitely regret not buying, like this Merrill hat. Ah, hopefully I could find one. But as always, let me know in the comments if you had any of this stuff or you want to track it down now like I do. <laughs> and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again.